just to come back to this, okay, our consciousness is we, we, our consciousness is not our brains. The brains are involved in consciousness, but they don't they don't make it. Uh, our consciousness uh, can be separate from our brains. Our consciousness can survive death and move on into other realms. <clears throat> All of this, I'm I'm in complete agreement with on the basis of my my studies and my experiences. But then the question comes, what is this life for? If I understand you correctly, and I agree with this point our physical being is not creating our consciousness our consciousness is almost the body is a sort of avatar for 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 our consciousness what what is the purpose of this whole exercise we human beings sitting point in the chat related to this theme which is all this is jeremy young all dominant groups slash governments seek to control consciousness and alternative ways of viewing reality Look at the materialist education system, which is designed to induct children into materialist orthodoxy. What, what do you think of that point? <clears throat> I think it's an absolutely correct point. Uh, we, we, we are from childhood schooled to think and function in particular ways. Uh, and, and increasingly we are, we are I, I accept that the mainstream religions have a different view, but increasingly in society we are the, the the forces of communication work to say that there is no spirit there is no soul there is no meaning there is no purpose to life we are just material objects this material agenda materialist agenda seems to infuse the society we live in in every way and i think ultimately it may be the downfall uh, of of our society we do need to open up to these to these other realms and other experiences and i do think that people who've had psych light was seen emerging from among the clouds heading into the sky at Shiva HAL, India. A strong beam of light was seen from the trees by the eyewitness, while he was driving a car on a road, to start filming the exciting shots of a beam of light of unknown source, from among the folds of clouds heading towards the sky, in a stunning view. The strange thing is that this ray of light is not constant, and changes in intensity from time to time, 
just as it spreads across the sky at different angles from time to time. Some may interpret it as just party lights, but in fact we have never seen party lights of this intensity and size before, and party lights will not cross the clouds in the sky, moreover, by examining the footage, no ground source of lights was found. This means that the source of these strong lights is hidden inside the clouds. Is the source of these strong lights an unidentified flying object among these clouds? Or it is just a rare phenomenon? In fact, none of the news agencies or newspapers spoke about the cause of the accident, no one stated that it was a natural phenomenon, and no official in India or abroad offered a rational explanation for the event. By searching for similar natural phenomena, we did not find any case identical to what happened in India on that day. The proponents of the theory of the existence of intelligent life outside the planet, meant that such technology is difficult to belong to the planet, and must have come from somewhere outside the planet. It may represent a kind of communication or preparation for a launch into space from a giant spaceship. Similar.